mountains high Valley low I have never seen the righteous Forsaken Through the night Through the storm I believe my voice and call you God. We fall down by I am Charles Izuchuku Okafo. I'm an artist, a filmmaker, career actor. But in this classical piece, in the Hosa Trails, I play the role of Ida Hosa. Seasons go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Julie Ako, aka Julie Bravo. Hi, my name is Choma Paul DK. I was line producer one and continuity manager for the film Idahosa Trails. And I worked as prop manager and line producer on Idahosa Trails. A couple of months ago, I got a call from a certain filmmaker. Stanley Uhikware, if I pronounce the surname correctly. And um, down the line, we settled for a breakfast meeting in Lagos, Nigeria. I had gone to that meeting with some sense of reservation largely due to my disposition to most of our pieces and uh, dramatic content interpretation. So I really, in all honesty, didn't expect much. But to my utter amazement, I found a young man with a very vibrant sense of art. Yeah, this place is deep down there. Eh? And the smell of you. Yes, use that mixer to me. Let's do that. Oh, put some more to it. Yes, please, use your muscle, use your muscle, use your muscle. Yes, yes, all that ever you have to do. Shows the, show the value of the eba. All the overfeeding, shows the value, shows the value. Yes, all that food they are eating at home. Uh -huh. A young man who had a very clear sense of direction in terms of um, dramaturgy who knew exactly what filmmaking was all about. Not only did he impress me with his worldview of cinematography, the robust content discussion, especially in playing up a man 
who unarguably stood out in Pentecostal Christendom, the Archbishop Benson in the Hosa, was something which clearly set me thinking and energized me into deciding there and then that this was um, a project that I needed uh, to be a part of. Okay, so as today is so man, we're here, we're preparing for the shoot. We've gone to the museum to take all those old schools. We can call them archaic things that uh, Papa used to use for his back in the day. So we're setting it up as close as possible to the actual thing that was done. So let's head to the museum. Now the name when I call from my dark hour. You know the name, everybody said that. I was born when Papa was alive. Why are they because you don't mind? We don't mind. We are on meat. This side is the side song. And we are glad doing it for God. But when you work for God, my friend, when you work for God, God will work for you. This is part of This is part of This is one of the product of Papa Ida Yes. Very strong member of the gym. Yeah, I know him when he was very small. Yeah, it's like that. Show me the level, like, yeah. Yeah, it's like that very small. 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 Yes, it was a yellow suit that coded it. This was, there was some suit, it was coat. Coat, yes. coat, 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 blazers. Coat, 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 I say you're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. Strong tower. Now the name when I they call from my dark hour. You know the name. Everybody said they call the name. Mention the name. Things now they remain the same. You go forget your pain. You go stop to complain. Every tongue confess and proclaim. Every need they bow to his name. His name. We know the shake. We know the quick. Cause we get Jesus by our side. Oh, we the sword they go. Fly they go. Shine they go. Cause we the heart. Jesus again and again The way the name they sweep me I'm not fear explain It's like a ring ding ding Going through my brain We know they shake We know they quick Cause that name Jesus Carry weight We know they slack Or carry last Follow Jesus We stay on track Check What people from like Make I fall But I know before I still stand tall Cause now Jesus They hold my hand Understand Now Jesus They make me stand Plenty things For me to talk But I go just round up and cut the story short. If you not get Jesus, you not get life. You they walk up for darkness, cause you not get light. That name, Jesus, that name, Jesus, carry weight. That name, Jesus, that name, Jesus, carry weight. He carry weight. He carry weight. That name, Jesus, carry weight. He carry weight. He carry weight. That name, Jesus, carry weight. That name, Jesus, carry weight. 
I was ministering and miracles were happening everywhere. The atmosphere was so charged up. Meanwhile, backstage, a woman was having a confrontation with the ushers. Margaret, my wife, witnessed it all. The woman had brought her child, who was born without eyes, to the crusade, believing God could form new eyes and give them to her son. The more the ushers tried to persuade her, the more she insisted on her conviction. I desired to see the script. I saw the script. I had a second meeting with him in Lagos, Nigeria again. And at the end of the day, it dawned on me that perhaps we had found somebody who would begin to answer very intellectually, creatively, and realistically the yawning unanswered questions in the Nigerian filmmaking architecture. I think it's one of those very um, awesome ex and inspiring stories that have not been tapped in our country. I think we have a lot of men who have inspired people and that just very few people have been able to tap into this story and you know, tell it to others so we could get enlightened by them. And that was what the director and the writer of the story did. He picked up this particular man's life and then told it to us in a way that would um, inspire us. So. Two, one, and action. Does it look? Do like what you see? You know, you know, happy. You know, happy for what you see at all. Do like say they cry. Clean your face. One more time. One and action. We moved on to location eventually in Benin City, South South Nigeria. And I was totally, totally stupefied by the immensity of his technical depth and insightful. Morning action. Beautiful, I think it works, works. Okay, thank you, sir. Walk. One and action. Sorry, my let's do it again. I need to feel that you are crying while coming out. I need to feel like you're crying from your body movement. I'm sorry. Every film set definitely has got a challenge or two, and it does I choose this for sure. Uh, it was a very tedious and demanding production. I usually don't compromise what I want to do with my story. It's good when actors come on set having their own understanding of the script and having a preconceived idea of how they want to uh, depict their roles and uh, play their characters. But it's always important that a director has a very clear vision in his mind what he wants to achieve so that you can actually 
you can have a blend of what the actors have and it just has to uh, be driven by the overall picture that you have in your mind and shooting Lagos, shooting Benin having a scheduled time to shoot because you have a foreigner in your country who has a limited time to stay so you definitely have to shoot by day shoot by night and shoot by midnight Okupi, just stay in your position so I can frame the shot. And that thing had not fallen at this point. It was when she was about to enter the shot. You are saying another thing, different from what he said. No, no, it's too different. That was too different. Just like this. Something like this. Did you not say something like, oh, 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 what, what did you say that you now said that? Oh, you're a good one. Oh, you're a good one. Oh, you're a good one. OK, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Can we turn on that lamp again for continuity? This lamp, this lamp. Fire, fire, fire. Because at the end of the day, for the story to stay true to its premise, it's very important that the director gets the vision uh, and he's able to pass it through with the actor's performances and every other person on set doing the thing they need to do, both with the lighting, the cinematography, the sound. Hello, we're testing audio. If you can hear me, we're testing audio. Hello, we're testing audio. If you can hear me, we're testing audio. I'm going downstairs right now. Hello, can you hear me? We're testing audio. I'm heading downstairs right now. Hello, can you hear me? We're testing audio. I am heading outside. I am right here at my final location. I am here at my final location and we are testing audio. We are testing audio, we are here at my final location. By the sun, I am right in front of the Sierra and I am coming right back because I believe audio is fine. Yes, yeah, so audio is fine. Thank you, darling. Audio is fine. So I'm coming right back up because audio is fine. I, I had my challenges. But then I also had support system. So all the audios, everything, we had ADL sessions and we had well over 200 actors in this movie. So for everything, we did ADL, which is automated dialogue replacement. No we at you ni obi e ni enu Jesus Christ no heke Onyo pa mi Enu me ga ta i Jesus me gu wese Enu me ga ta Enu me ga jere Enu me ga ta i Jesus me gu wese baba Enu me ga ta gu um, having a team of people who are dedicated to a project and who wants to see it fly beyond the shores of Nigeria is is something you should always look forward to on a film set. So yes, with the challenges came, the many opportunities came, the many happy moments came. The reason why I would wake up every morning and still want to be on set. You run from outside the shot. From outside the shot. Go, 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 go back. Let's go in three, two, one. Not just the wakala, I said the women, just the plug grass. Eh? Action. Okay, thank you. So that was nice. Let's do it one more time because we're done. Thank you, but we are doing it one more time. Final shot. Add us back to your position. She don't wake up. She don't wake
I enjoyed working on set. It was stressful. It was strenuous. We had to do some weird things like. And action! Ah, she don't pop my camera. Thank you. Oh, yeah, come get me. You need to clean this camera. Hey! Yeah, trauma, get the lights. It is a film with a story. Amazing, it's a great storyline. This movie was by no means an attempt to show dexterity in how much I can do visual effects or how much I can edit. It was primarily focused on telling a very convincing story from a perspective that people were not expecting. Deep thinking uh, it informed my sense of a duty to that role interpretation. But of course, I applied more of the Stanislavskian principle of acting. Uh, the memory recall principle and um, when I saw a lot of footages you know, of um, his pulpit sermonizations as made available to me by the research unit of uh, Stanley's uh, production outfit. Every time someone comes with a new perspective to approach the matter of faith, it has a way of inspiring us to you know, grow in our Christian faith. So I, I actually grew, I, I learned a lot and I, I connected with God on another level. Like I really wanted to be like the man they were talking about because he was a man of faith. Uh, it also galvanized my eventual interpretation. Of course, as an actor, I presented it before the director who in his wisdom felt that it came close to the kind of reenactment that um, we that he envisaged. I tell you my brother, it, it didn't come easy, it didn't come cheap. Well it was challenging, it was also demanding and it also taught me a lot of things on how to improvise and work with people in a very versatile environment where people are like on the move and be able to make prompt decisions. And yeah, we made one or two mistakes but we learns to just improvise with what we have and move forward. It's by no means a cheap movie, it's by no means a low budget movie, uh, especially by Nigerian standards. And um, uh, for most movies like this, a lot of people would have resorted to Bank of Industry and then when you're seeing the credits, you hear things like, oh, we couldn't have done this without the Bank of Industry. Uh, but that was not the case with this movie. This movie was funded independent of the Bank of Industry or any financial institution. Uh, so for a movie that was self-funded, uh, that didn't depend on uh, the usual suspects for funding, uh, I believe I believe it's 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 uh, it's something worth celebrating, and I really thank everybody who came in to support those who, for the moral support, for the spiritual support, uh, the cooperation we got from the different people. You know, we'll be shooting on the street and be like, oh, we need this, and they'll say, ah, oh, no, especially in Benin, the people say, ah, maybe that's a film we should see. Yes, ah, but can use my house, just like that. Everybody was cooperative and. It just, it just felt good. Uh, there were a lot of things that made us understand that we're working on the right project and we're doing the right things. And very importantly, uh, the time when we started shooting this film in, at the beginning of the year, as of the time we went on set to shoot, we didn't even have all the funds to make the movie. Uh, and a lot of people might find this cliche, but really, this is what happened. I just heard it straight in my spirit. Go ahead and start the movie. If you are going to shoot a film about a man who lived by faith, then go ahead and start making this film by faith. And I listened and I obeyed. And here we are today, the movie is ready. Uh, so it, I, even I myself learned a thing or two about uh, walking in faith and believing in God through the process of making this movie. Because it was clear to me that every step to make uh, the allowance and the provision of the day. And that's exactly what happened.
tired and I mm. When they say this trouble is too great Yeah You say you know the one that owns everything That your love never sees And you're always with me Yes, I know you are strong even when I am weak I've got fire in my bones Fire in my bones That dry bones will leave again. I speak peace unto the nations yeah. because peace is the answer for the trouble we face today. That this darkness will cease and your light will remain. Greater is in me than he that is. The world. I've got fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. I've got fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. Just remember, wait. they that wait on the Lord shall not faint. Like a lion, be sure of the words from your mouth. See. Open your eyes, oh ye you blind, it's the day of your salvation. Be strong, be strong in the Lord, oh ye. From the mouth of pains and sufferings, is a day praise and strength. For the rest of our lives, for the rest of our lives, fire in Bible.